There are activities that we can do that will give us healthy, sustained increases in dopamine, both the peaks when they happen and to maintain or even increase our baseline levels of dopamine. There's been a trend toward more people doing so-called cold exposure, getting into cold showers, taking ice baths, exposing oneself to cold water of various kinds can in fact increase our levels of dopamine. First of all, upon getting into cold water, the changes in adrenaline and noradrenaline, epinephrine and norepinephrine, were immediate and fast. But then what was interesting is they observed that dopamine levels started to rise somewhat slowly and then continued to rise and reached levels as high as 2.5 times above baseline. So increase in dopamine from a cold water exposure of this kind was comparable to what one sees from cocaine. Except in this case, it wasn't a rise and crash. It was actually a sustained rise in dopamine that took a very long time, up to three hours to come back down to baseline.